All right, I just want to do a video sharing this very uh, impressive uh, standing up to the Western cultural imperialism of forcing LGBT upon pretty much every society that doesn't conform to the uh, misconceived universal values of the Western world, which they think are universal, but really are just confined to their degenerate society. So it's just plain and simple, but just a really good uh, display. Qatar has really shown that uh, you can you can defy this type of this type of cultural imperialism, and really once you really defy it and you know stand up against these cultural these Western liberal cultural LGBT imperialists, uh, they kind of just go crazy over that. And here is one such example of this. This is. Um, this is the Qatar World Cup chief. It says this is on Talk Sport. It says Qatar World Cup chief Hassan Al uh, Twadi, I'm saying that right, claims that One Love Armband was a divisive message from Western nations and calls for respect for the beliefs and values of the Arab world. You know, and as much as I am critical of Islam, I have to commend him for that because, you know, they're making very clear to these Western, you know, these degenerate Western liberals who want to just force their ideology upon everybody else. Uh, their values are not universal and there are plenty of cultures especially over in Asia and for example my home nation of Russia uh, That don't accept nor want this kind of stuff nor is it welcome in those countries You know and these Western liberals are just so fixated on these so-called uh, of trying to convince themselves these values should be universal and really they're not And it's funny too because what the West calls values is constantly changing because less than 50 years ago uh, Homosexuality was actually illegal in almost every state in America and almost every province and territory in Canada so 50 years ago, what was called Western values would have been identical to what they're criticizing Qatar over, which is criminalizing uh, homosexual degeneracy. But it says here in the article, uh, Qatar World Cup chief Hassan al Twadi has accused other nations behind the One Love armband for, of sending de a divisive message and said they should understand and respect the values of the Arab world. England and Wales were among a number of European nations who planned for their captain to wear anti-discrimination One Love arm uh, the anti-discrimination One Love ar armband in Qatar, where same-sex relationships are illegal. Uh, and they, they get the photo of the guy, but you know, it's it's funny because it's like. You know, this kind of stuff only just further proves that it's a Western import because, you know, uh, it's not, I mean, this, this, these cultures don't accept that. Again, I speak from, you know, a Russian standpoint, our culture doesn't accept that kind of stuff either. And you find a lot of the people who are promoting it are either Western activists who are, you know, in, in infiltrating these countries or funding other groups to push it for them because they're just so fixated on pushing these degenerate Western liberal values everywhere. But it says here in the article, uh, however, they backtracked after FIFA threatened sporting sanctions against players who wore it with an immediate yellow card and potential punishment, which caused widespread disappointment. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Hey, it's their culture. You don't like it, don't go to their country. Uh, Germany players uh, cover their mouths in a team photo before their two to one defeat to Japan and a message to world's football to a, and a message to the world's football governing uh, governing body, while Manuel Neuer uh, hid the FIFA armband he had been ordered to wear under his shirt. Well. Again, you know, uh, this kind of stuff is just further showing that it's a Western, it's just an alien Western import force on everybody else. You know, Qatar made very, very clear that this stuff is not welcome. So don't be surprised when you're going you're gonna to get, you know, in some trouble for wearing that kind of stuff. It's insane. But again, the type of, of just uh, so-called Western exceptionalism to where our values are somehow universal, we're going to force it upon everybody else. It's a bunch of garbage. And it's, this is exactly why anti-Western sentiment is so widespread. In, in these parts of the world, including my home country of Russia, by the way. But it says here, continuing on the article now, Al Twadi, Secretary General of the Supreme Committee for Delivery and Legacy of the Qatar World Cup, has accused Western nations of failing to show respect and understanding for Middle Eastern culture. It's a FIFA decision. I wasn't part of that discussion, he told TalkSport in a wide-ranging exclusive interview. Their policy is they have their, their armbands representing inclusivity for a number of topics, uh, sustainability, and so on and so forth. I wasn't nervous about it, but for me, if a team decided to do it through the entire season, uh, that is one thing. You know, and the article doesn't go on, but essentially what's going on is that just saying very clear, hey, you know, don't bring, don't, you know, just as much as you wouldn't want them enforcing their ideology upon Western culture, don't do it to them. You know, because see, when a Muslim would go to a Western nation, uh, they're kind of expected to adhere to Western liberal values, but then somehow they can't show that same courtesy to other nations. It's just that plain and simple. And again, they made very clear that this stuff is not welcome in Qatar. And people are, getting, are surprised that, oh, why are we getting persecuted for wearing this kind of stuff? Well, you know, maybe don't go to a country where it's illegal. 
it's just that plain and simple. They're a sovereign nation. You know, if you don't like it, just deal with it. You know, the West needs to, needs to get out of this mentality that they somehow own the world and that somehow their values are universal because they're not. If anything, they're the major, they're the they're the uh, minority, because there are even Western nations like Jamaica that are not really too fond of all this stuff either. This this degeneracy. It's mostly just North America, really. I mean, I wouldn't even say it's like the Western world. I'd say it's mostly just North America and Western Europe that is the purveyor of all this degeneracy and garbage, because there are plenty of, of South American nations that aren't really too fond of it either. So it's not really the West, it's mostly just North America and Western Europe. But you go to the most, like, you know, China obviously is not too fond of that. But you see, they just can't seem to understand that. They can't seem to get the fact that when they do this, they're proving two things. Number one, they have a superiority complex and think their values are, are universal. And number two, this kind of stuff is just an alien Western import forced on everybody else. So anyway, I could say a whole lot more, but uh, I don't need to really, because it just, you know, it's insane how just these, Western liberals, how just how arrogant and just prideful they are, which is fitting because they're a bunch of sodomites. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.